Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 2P Press Start. I'm your host, Giant Killer, and today we're bringing you episode 23 of our top 5 Hearthstone plays of the week. Now let's get right into the action with number 5. Our number 5 play this week was a submission from Nick W. and others, and it features Total Biscuit running a weapon-themed warrior deck in some ranked action against Angel of Dark. And it's safe to say that nothing's really been going right for Total Biscuit so far this game. He's way behind on life, and he's firmly planted in that late-game stage where druids tend to shine. But with a couple of epic top decks, he's about to turn things around. First, after top decking a Gromash Hellscream, TB takes the air out of Angel's lungs with an enraged Gromash and a swing from his buffed Arcanite Reaper. Then on Angel's turn, he comes roaring right back by dropping a pair of 8-8 Beasties, a one-mana Molten Giant and a taunting Ironbark Protector. But with another great top deck, TB grabs exactly what he needs, a second South Sea Deckhand which will gain charge thanks to his Gore Howl and give Total Biscuit the damage he needs to go all Lumberjack on Angel's Taunting Tree and swing through for the comeback kill. This week's number four play was a submission from Greg D, and it features Duckwing Face on Priest up against Fresh Meat in a clip we're calling You Face Jaraxxus. And maybe you can't hear it, but FACE is supposed to be in all caps there. Because, you know, that's how Duckwing Face spells it. Okay, alright, that was probably a lot funnier when I wrote it. But anyway, in this play we find Duckwing Face in a tight spot, facing down Lord Jaraxxus and some nasty minions. But Duckwing Face is about to expose Jaraxxus' greatest weakness. Small gnomes reading comically large books. Duckwing casts Mind Vision, grabbing a sacrificial pact that Fresh Meat was running for some reason, and uses the pact to instantly KO Jaraxxus for the win. Our number three clip this week was a submission from Lechugino, and it features Lechugino in a druid mirror match up against Malum. And in this play, Lechugino is out to prove that every once in a while, chemical addictions can actually make someone more dependable. Lechugino starts out by dropping a Mana Addict, which gains plus two attack power until end of turn for each spell cast. He follows that up with a Wild Growth, which gives him an excess mana card draw, which he uses, followed up by a Mark of the Wild, an Innervate, and a Mark of Nature. By the time Lechugino's done casting spells, his Mana Addict is up to a soaring 15-9, but Lechugino's got one more trick up his sleeve. He then gives the Mana Addict a brew from his crazed Alchemist, swapping its power and toughness, and more importantly, making those numbers permanent. With no answers to a 9-15 Taunter, or for that matter, Lechugino's handful of cards, Malum tips his king and hands Lechugino the win. And this week's number two clip was a submission from Gareth R, and it features Era on Druid up against Dog the Hunter, I see what he did there, in some legend-ranked action. And in this play, Era's behind on life and facing down lethal damage on board from Dog. But in this play, Era's about to beat Dog with his own cat. Era takes out Dog's Savannah Hymane with his Defender of Argus, spawning two hyenas. Since the hyenas are beasts, they each trigger the Starving Buzzard to force Dog to draw a card, resulting in a total of nine fatigue damage. Era follows that up with a swipe and a shapeshift to put the nails in the coffin, and the mandatory card draw on Dog's turn finishes him off, giving Era the win. Our number one clip this week was a submission from Andrew B, and it features Salon on Warrior up against Wan B on Handlock in some ranked play. And as we join this play in action, Salon's got a big wall of taunting minions standing between his bloodthirsty frothing berserker and victory, so we'll have to find a way to use the cluttered board to his advantage. He starts out with a shield block to draw an Armorsmith, then drops the Armorsmith and a Wild Pyromancer, which will do one damage to each minion every time Salon casts a spell. Then Salon casts a Whirlwind, which also does one damage to each minion. The resulting Damage Apocalypse triggers the Frothing Berserker 16 times, and clearing Wanbi's blockers makes it even bigger, giving the Berserker plenty of strength to finish off Wanbi in one 23 damage swing. And for our bonus clip this week, we bring you Worst Knife Juggler Ever. This clip was a submission from Anthony D, and it features Titan Killer, what is he trying to one-up me or something, on Hunter, up against an unknown mage who's about to play the worst knife juggler ever. And while this clip is running, it's time once again to talk about the series. First of all, as always, thank you so much to all of you for watching our Top 5 show, and for all of your supportive comments and feedback. We absolutely couldn't do this without all of you, so thanks for making this so much fun to put together. Of course, we're always looking for more great Hearthstone plays to showcase on the series, so if you're interested in submitting a play, stop by 2ppressstart.com and hit the Submit a Play link for instructions on how to submit a play into the running for next week's episode. And finally, if you enjoy our shows and want to help 2P Press Start grow, please click on that subscribe button to join the always growing and always awesome 2P Press Start family, and we'll keep bringing you more great Hearthstone content right here on 2P Press Start.